I think we're going to have a collapse before they come around to uh, really thinking seriously, you know, about monetary policy and why we have to revamp it. Recently, we have seen the dollar go down sharply. I think it's going to continue, and hopefully it'll wake the people up and find out you have to have honest money and follow the Constitution because it says only gold and silver can be legal tender. If this is sunk on a boat uh, and a ship uh, now, or uh, it was a 500 years ago, you dig it up, it has tremendous value. There will be numismatic value plus the real value of gold. This sinks, you put it to the bottom, and who, who cares? The Federal Reserve has be give, been given the power and the authority by our, by our Congress, in contrary to the Constitution, to create money out of thin air. The Federal Reserve makes credit available, but in a way it's, it's fraudulent and it's theft. It becomes valuable only by diluting the value of somebody else who's holding money. I can, as a member of Congress, I can find out more information about what the CIA is doing than what the uh, FOMC is doing, the, uh, the central bank, what they're doing on monetary policy. That's very, very secretive uh, of, of what, they're, of what wow. they're doing. But the Congress created it. So it's not like General Motors being a private company. In some ways, it's almost worse than just saying private. It's, it's, it, the benefits are privatized, uh, and yet it's ultra-secretive. Ultra and, uh, and, and all powerful. Under today's circumstances, a Bernanke or a Greenspan, very, very powerful. And they might, I'm sure they are trying to manipulate the price of gold and they're always trying to manipulate the value of dollars and the people are deceived and the world plays this game that the dollar is as good as gold and it's a reserve currency. Can you tell us a little bit about the entitlements? Most people, when we talk about entitlements, and I really bought into this before I first went to Congress, and that was, it was always those poor people. But I think the entitlements and the welfare for the rich is much bigger. There's the uh, entitlements of privilege regulations and tax benefits here and there, and the military industrial complex and, con and contracts. Just think how many billions of dollars are going into big corporate coffers in, uh, in trying to rebuild Iraq. First, first the military industrial complex makes all this money building weapons, then when they destroy a country, <laughs> then, they, then they get more money to rebuild it. What's going to happen you know, when the baby boom generation retires and you see exp expenses and income on graph after graph in the financial statement of the United States? They're basically telling us what is going to happen in the future, yes. and it's not a pretty picture. This is so huge that nobody can quite comprehend it. It's into the many, many trillions of dollars. All we know for certain is it's, it, it's, it's not workable, and uh, it, it will fall apart. I think this country is going to get much, much poorer, and uh, the entitlements will finally have to end because uh, just printing the money and running up the deficit or expecting foreigners to continue to loan us the money, it's, it's not going to last. It's, it's, just, it's just a dream, and it's very, very serious. The founders didn't even like democracy, and, and we're expending lives and hundreds of billions of dollars to go over there and tell the Iraqi people how they're going to live. I mean, this, uh, that's going to end. It's, it's going to end, not because of great wisdom gravitating to Washington is going to end because we're going to run out of our wealth and, and the entitlement system will be declared bankrupt. Back to the basics, the education, the understanding, the founders' message, the message we have in our Constitution, it could all be preventable, but we, are, we yield to the temptation of a free lunch. If Thomas Jefferson or Andrew Jackson uh, came back today and took a look at what has happened to their country, to this system that they laid out in the Constitution, what would their view of what our society is, what, what would it be? Do you think they would describe us as socialists, as communists? Yeah, uh, but they, they might want to arrest us and put us in prison, <laughs> especially Congress. <laughs>